I just know it's an easy song, so it should be pretty easy to sight read. What is it telling us to do? What the fuck? But that's not a guitar part. Oh, that's immediately wrong. That, there's no way that that's what they said to play. Do you remember these old Guitar World magazines? I just found these from my old high school days, and I wanted to see if the tabs in these were as good as I remember them being. Was I learning these songs the right way, or were these tabs completely off? Let's dive back into these magazines, look at all the old articles, and see if my teenage self was learning to play the right way, or was I just setting myself up for failure? I picked out three Guitar World magazines that were featuring Metallica. I thought I'd just look through them, look through the tabs, you know, take a little trip down memory lane, and um, see how good the tabs are, honestly, because I don't remember if they're good or if they're bad. You ever seen The Art of Guitar? He does one where he does one where he looks at the official tab books. So I thought this could be interesting. Maybe not. Who knows? But but hopefully it'll be some really interesting content. I mean, just looking at the front, I didn't even see that the Game of Thrones main theme title was on this. That's crazy. Oh, well, they got Pharrell Williams. They have The Who, Soundgarden, and then of course this one's Metallica because it is the 30th anniversary of Ride Lightning, which is actually cool because I didn't even realize I had that. You got stuff about Trivia and Parkway Drive. Love those bands. There's just a lot of cool stuff in here. I just want to take a small trip down memory lane just to see. This was really big for my teenage years. Let's see when this came out. This one came out in August 2014. Wow. So I was in college by then. I would use these magazines and I would use Ultimate Guitar if you've ever been on there to try and learn songs. I know Ultimate Guitar had a lot of hit and miss stuff, so I'm really hoping these were actually good, but maybe I was just learning completely wrong the whole time. Who knows? I guess we'll find out. But if you want a video on the Ultimate Guitar tabs that I used to look at, please let me know in the comments because I would love to do a video on that as well. But this is the first trip down memory lane, so uh, let's start with this one. I just remember how many ads these things used to have and all the stuff that I couldn't afford. I don't know if it's going to show up, but there used to be um, like a practice room thing. Oh, look at that. Mark Morton. I uh, See, I wasn't. I don't know how big I was in, until Lamb got at that point, but those guitars are pretty sick. I do love Jackson's. There's just so much cool shit in these. I probably read this a few times when I was a kid. Oh, I didn't even know that he had a signature head from Randall. You got corn there. That's so cool. I'll have to read this again, honestly. Sinister Gates. Like fucking issues in here. Young Matt Trivium. I guess not. Oh, yes, 10 years ago, honestly, at this point. I didn't even think about that. That's pretty wild. It means the 40th anniversary Ride Lightning's coming up. There was so much good stuff that I just. Oh, there's Broderick. It's probably about Megadeth. I just, I just didn't pay attention to half the stuff that I should have back in the day. I just had no clue. I just wanted to read, honestly, I just wanted to read stuff about my favorite bands. And now that my tastes have expanded pretty far, I wish I had kept some more of these. Yeah, I remember they had these, like, string, they had theory stuff in the back. I can't believe they had, I didn't even realize they had Dave Davidson in here. Marty Friedman. There was so much cool stuff that I literally just skipped. I guess I just didn't realize how much metal, I, that's what I was mainly looking for. And if I saw, like, a blues issue, I was just tired of it. Look, they got metal stuff right here. Let's see, what is it telling you to do? Oh, that's a one, two. So let's get to the tabs. I didn't care back in the day, but I probably would care now, but all these cool things are teaching at the back of the book. Firm the belt let's see. So it has a guitar, guitar, and the bass. What is it telling us to, what the fuck? But that's not a guitar part. That's just the bass. What part of the song is this? Oh, that's immediately wrong. That, there's no way that that's what they said to play. That part's wrong. It shouldn't be. That's the right part. They're saying to do. Who the fuck tabbed this out? Jeff Jacobson. Hmm. Yeah, that, I don't know why they're telling they're telling you to play the lead part too. I mean, they get that part right. It's a little bit sharp to play. I usually play. Usually put my tuner at 440. No, 444 for Ride the Lightning, I believe. Oh, they have it like as a harmony. Oh, what? I've never seen that before. That's so weird. I don't believe they play a harmony there, but maybe they do. I don't, I've never seen it. I have to watch Kirk after. Yeah, I don't know about that at all. I would say probably not. That's weird. I don't like that at all. Where's the... Oh, is this the... I usually play it. Yeah, let's see. I 
That sounds about right. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, that's how you play it. Okay, so that's not bad. That I don't I didn't think there's a harmony there, but I think I got that part right. That doesn't sound right. Nope. That doesn't sound right at all. Wait. Let me see. Well, that's what I usually do. Okay. So it's pretty right so far. I believe that's what they do live too. They do the. I find that way just a little bit easier, but you can do the. Okay, so that's not bad. I mean, it's such an easy song that it just, I think it's hard to mess up. Yeah, I think that's it. I mean, what was it? The ending is. And they have. It's the same notes, but I wouldn't play it there. I'd just do the. So nothing weird, too too much, too weird. This I don't. I've never heard a harmony there, and they don't have the chord. Oh yeah, they do. Yeah, that's the chord set. I don't know if there's a harmony there. I've never heard it before. That's weird. But everything else is pretty good. So now we're gonna move on to the next one. So next one has Ride the Lightning. Tuesday's Gone, great song. Hell yeah, I've never listened to them, but I know they're like metal, hard rockish kind of band. Again, featuring Kurt Hammett. Well, that's the 25th anniversary of Kill 'Em All. Why didn't they? Why they do Ride the Lightning for this one? Was this? February 2008. Wow, this is probably one of the earliest ones I had. This is probably like right when I got into Metallica too. It's like looking back at all this shit, man. ESP. Absolutely love ESP still. A young Kirk there. That's cool. Iomi. Like this is um Mastodon. Dillinger Escape Plan. I didn't realize he played Randall. This must have been around like Death Magnetic. I didn't know he did that at all. Carrie with his signature JCM. It's really cool going through this after all these years. Mesa Boogie. I guess I didn't realize how much metal stuff there was in there. They, they had a, a nice spread of content, is what it looks like. But I had no clue. Yeah, and then they're talking about... So this is... Because the other one was 2014, so then he has had a few signature randles. I didn't know that at all. I mean, I know that James was using um, the German amp. I can't think of it off the head, but I can put a picture of him. Yeah, look at that cool picture. They have his settings for it? That's crazy. Yeah, look at that. Kill them all. That's so cool. I was just starting to get out of classic rock, so it's just like didn't didn't do it for me. Symphony of Destruction. Are you fucking stupid? Oh, Symphony of Instruction by Dave Mustaine. That's crazy. Yeah, there's so much cool stuff in here that I just, just decided to ignore. We both like go through these at some point and see. So there's the tabs. Got Little Wing. Oh, okay. I I thought those were such cool guitars. I think his um Rust in Peace one's really cool and the um. Oh, I can't think of the top of my head. I'll find it. Here we go. Ride the lightning. So what does it say to do? Oh, that's a weird... I, I, I've been doing it like this. We'll see what the main... Yeah, the main is pretty easy. Don't believe they just scratch right there, but I've never really played that riff. So then the chorus is. Oh, that sounds pretty right to me. Thank you. 
Sounds pretty right to me so far. See, they have the spider cords. Oh yeah, then they have the... Let's see, oh, there's the spider cords, yeah. That is honestly one of the coolest techniques that Dave introduced to the world was the spider cord thing. That's really cool. So that's another really good tab. Like, it looks pretty good. I don't even attempt to play the solo, but I'm assuming it's right. Wow, they got it, like, pretty accurately. Looks like. Really cool. Yeah, I remember seeing this. These ads all the time. I wanted to order so many of these shirts. I wasn't even sure if it was a real website, honestly. Let's see what else is in here. Then we'll move on to the next one. This, I probably would have loved this. The Truckster. I liked his, I really like his, um, this is the Black Album guitar, I believe. I hate, I hate Floyd Rose, or I'd get one. These are so funny. Like, look at, that's ridiculous. Why do they even have that in here? Oh, I remember these, too. They'd have the, uh, they'd have your, the whole rigs. Oh yes, I remember that. Hey, let's move on to the next one. So this one is the hundred greatest Metallica songs. So it looks like it's got it's got Leopard Spire. He's had a stroke. Leopard Spire. Oh, I didn't realize it had the Unforgiven too. That's so cool. Hendrix, Oasis, and the Beatles. So I love that picture. Okay, let's look when this is from. It is from 2011. Wow, I actually have this book right here. Right over here. So they said Master Puppets number two. They put number one. Creeping Death. I think that's a good pick. Oh, it's so cool. They have all these little axology. I'll have to look through this at some point too. Like, holy shit, man. I think it's under... I think it's a little crazy not to put one at the top, but that's just my opinion. Wow. All Nightmare Long at number nine. That's wild. Three most difficult Metallica songs. Yeah, Master Puppets. Sanitarium, really. Fade to Black. Yeah, I think that deserves to be up there and... Orion, Motor Breath, I don't think there's, I don't think it deserves to be up there, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't, I mean, I might was just a cover, like, it's not their song. I wonder what songs would make it from the new album today, if they made this today. My Apocalypse does not deserve to be up there. St. Anger deserves to be up there. I actually, I absolutely love that song. No Leaf Clover deserves to be up there. Favorite Cliff Burton, like, Rex Brown. Oh, that's, this is such a cool, they got Mark Morton. I remember seeing these ads all the time, too. The new Mustang Amswell. Here we go, Leopard Messiah. That all looks pretty right so far. It's a, tri it's a little bit of a tricky riff. That sounds alright. I don't know how that's played. That looks, that, it sounds right, but it would be hard. You'd have to. It just seems like too much movement. But maybe I'm wrong. And they seem pretty accurate so far. So I'm really pleased with these. I guess I was learning the right thing back in the day. So now let's move on. Well, we can do the Unforgiven. We can look at the Unforgiven really quick, but this... Maybe we'll save this for the next one. So we'll do the Unforgiven for the next time. That was a really nostalgic trip for me. The tabs in these magazines would make or break my month. If I didn't find at least one tab or article that I really wanted to look at, I would just put these magazines down immediately. It was really nice to see that these tabs did hold up, and I was learning to play the right way. It was also a lot of stuff that I just missed out on, and I wish I had looked more at back in the day. Then, like I kept mentioning, these ads were really intriguing to me, there was a bunch of gear that I could never have afforded back then, 
but it'd be really cool to check out now if I could find him again. Like, I was completely surprised that Kirk Hammond had signature Randall heads. I didn't know that at all. I wish I had honestly kept more of these from back in the day to take a look through now, but I do have a few left over if you do want to see this again. So please let me know and I can make another video on these. So if you enjoyed this video, I have already checked out from the belt holes, so it was really nice to compare the tabs in this book to what I've already learned. So if you enjoyed this video, I want you to check this one out right here. I looked at the history behind From the Belt Holes, broke down the song, looked at the lyrics, made a guitar tone, did a whole guitar cover, and gave my thoughts on the song. So if you enjoyed this video, I think you might enjoy that one. Thank you to everyone that has subscribed and commented. It's really made my year so far. I'm not even a year into this, and I've come so far, so thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.